today I'm on the Bachalbsee at 2200 meters. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, so there are no tourists at this time. It's a wonderful day, not many wind, but the KP index is at six, so we have to be aware of that. We can always fly it in ETI mode if the GPS doesn't work anymore, but you have to be aware of that. Don't fly uh, at the KP of six, so the sun has some activities actually. But with the Inspire one it's no problem to do so, you can always change to ATI mode and then you have full control and it works without GPS, so we are not disturbed about that. Today I'm here with the Inspire 1. I put on the 25mm focal lens to take a panorama. The difficulty with the Inspire is that you have not the props or the drone on the picture if you make a gimbal yaw. So the trick is for a plus 30 degrees and the second row we use drone yawing and then for the rest from 0 degrees down to minus 90 degrees we use gimbal yawing, but how we can do that? It's very simple. If you use lychee, you can use the drone from left to right to left. That's important if you will take uh, pictures like that. So we put on for the 25 millimeters six pictures vertical and 12 pictures horizontal. And if we work in left to right mode, we can just use a program from 6 pictures for vertical, 12 pictures for horizontal. Then we stop the program if we have 24 images. We make a new program from 0 degrees to minus 90 degrees and we use only 4 pictures vertical. And then the rest will do a lychee alone. It's a little bit tricky uh, at home to put that together, I have not implemented that actually in the XML creator so we have to edit the XML file ourselves but you can use a template make a 6 vertical 12 horizontal XML for Lychee left right left the advantage of gimbal yawing is that we are very fast even with Lychee as you can see in this video I will compare the Inspire 2 with the X7 24 mm lens with the 25 mm of the Inspire 1. That's the reason why I made this video. So I have now some pictures to compare and we will see next week how is the difference between the, the pictures of panoramas. If you will have a look on the full size of these panoramas you can always do that on my homepage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Thank you.